So for these, a lot of times I like to just write these in exponential form. If I'm wondering what this equals, I write it as 4 to, four to the x equals 64. So 4 to what power equals 64? That would be 4 to the third. So x must be 3. Uh, this thing, um, these, the ln and the e, logs and exponents are opposite. These are just going to knock each other out. The final, final answer for this is going to be root 3. Just like the final, final answer for this one, the exponent and the log with the same base are going to knock each other out and just give you a 2. This one here, same thing. The, if the base, those bases are the same, the log and the exponent cancel each other out and give you a 4. So super nice, if you want a quick explanation of why it works, is this one here. It was, uh, if we were wondering what it equaled, it started off as the ln of e to the root 3. And if I say that equals something I want to know, the base that I'm too lazy to write there is an e. So I'm wondering, if I write this in exponential form, e to some power gives me this. So e to some power gives me e to the root 3. Well, what power do you raise e to to get e to the root 3? Must be root 3. So same thing here, if you have log base 7 to 2, that's asking you what power do I raise my base 7 to to get 2? Well, whatever that is, if I raise 7 to that power, the power I raise 7 to to get 2, I must get 2. So play that over, it works a bit. Same thing here, 5 to what power gives me 5 to the 4th must be a 4. This one, not a cancellation property, just like normal. I'm wondering what power I raise 2 to to get 1 over 32. If you write it as an exponential, 2 to some power equals 1 over 32. And uh, I know that, if it, that 32 is 2 to the 5th. And since it's 1 over 32, that's 2 to the negative 5. So, because um, a negative exponent will make the reciprocal. So if 2 to the x equals 2 to the negative 5, then x must be negative 5. Here, if we're wondering what this equals, I'm wondering 6 some power equals 1. So 6 to some power equals 1. Well, anything to the 0 power will equal 1. So x must be 0. In fact, you can say log base b of 1 for any base you want. Base a billion doesn't matter will equal 0. And that's that.